We're gonna play the game, the PlayStation all day. We have a Metal Gear Solid to check and play. And from Omega Bells to Resident Evil, just play for the fun, cause we got it going on. Hello, Ryan here with another episode of Enos Lives, and today I'm going to be playing Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, and I am not going to be playing the HD version uh, on PS3, despite, um, you know, using a PS3 right now. I'm actually going to be playing the original PS1 game. Uh, which is not available on PSN, so um, I am playing off my disc copy. So this game originally uh, was released, um, I believe, in the arcades in Japan in 96, um, and the PlayStation port came to North America in 97. So... Um, it is a game from Capcom. It uses characters from um, both the Street Fighter and Darkstalkers series, and it's a competitive fighting game. Um, it's a game I haven't really played in a very, very long time, but um, it's one that, uh, you know, in the, in the late 90s, um, my... Friends and I definitely played, um, probably more competitively than we played, uh, Street Fighter <laughs> at the time. Uh, it was, uh, it was definitely a pretty competitive scene, uh, in my mom's basement, uh, in the late 90s when, um, when I was having friends over and we were playing this, so. Um, alright, so if few different modes here. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and start with arcade mode. Um, I'll just play on normal. Um, I don't, I don't really see myself actually, um, playing all the way through this, but just kind of giving an overview, so, um, I'll use, I'll use Sakura. So yeah, really cute chibi sprites that would eventually go on to be in Pocket Fighter. So um, I guess this will, if you've never played this, it will start making sense after I uh, play it for a little while. Basically you are... Um, essentially getting grouping um, blocks of one color and um, and then using the circles to kind of clear them out and I'm not doing a great job actually grouping these here um, but you really you really want to go for um, kind of like a big uh, Getting a getting a lot of the um, blocks of the same color together, and then um, that's when you're going to get your really really big um, combo here and send all that junk over to your opponent. Um, and as you can kind of see right there, I just used. Um, my junk to uh, block, reuse um, his attack on me. So uh, yeah, it uh, it definitely gets pretty intense once you uh, let's go with this. Do a little combo here. Go the diamonds. Um, actually, like clear all of a color. Um, I didn't really have that much to clear there. Oof. Actually, got me in some. <laughs> so 
So yeah, even on uh, normal here, it's the first, uh, first, uh, first few computer fights are um, not too terribly challenging, but they uh, it definitely uh, definitely starts building up in difficulty. And you can see like the timed blocks. Um, those you can you can set a circle like a breaker um, piece down there, and like when the time is up, then it will automatically you know start uh, start a combo. Um, so that's a that's a good strategy to use as well with the junk blocks that your opponent sends over. So Dark Stalkers stage here. A series that does not get very much love these days. She's uh, sending me a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Yikes. Um, hopefully I get... Oh my goodness. Yeah! Wow. I was not uh, not quick enough there, but yeah, like I said, the uh, computer can be pretty challenging at times. So. So let's go ahead and check out another another mode here. Street puzzle mode. I actually don't remember what this is. Um, This, I don't remember what this is. Is this like unlockables or something? Ready? Oof, and she is fast. Uh, I think this is. Uh, I think this is gonna be a pretty challenging mode here. Um, just gonna do my best though. I'm pretty out of practice. <laughs> wow! That's, uh, that's the game! <laughs> oh my goodness. You failed to win the item, so I guess that's what, uh, what these matches are. Um, I wonder if any options... Okay, so maybe can turn the difficulty down and see how that goes. see. Um, oh, you have two different audio options. I guess that's the arcade version versus the PlayStation version. Let's go to the original. I'm gonna try street puzzle mode again. I'm gonna try that same exact fight to see um, if it's any easier. 
this time around. Ready? Yeah, it looks like she's still really fast. Um, okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, it's uh it's still actually really hard. Um <laughs> Wow. Yeah, uh I think if I jump back over to arcade mode, um let's see. Yeah, so difficulty on easy and then jump over to arcade mode. Put this on easy. I think this will give me a little more, um, little more balanced, uh, not balanced, easier, um, accessible, <laughs> um, fight here. Let's try it out and see. Um, yeah, like, I'm not super familiar with, like, the computer difficulty settings, uh, in this game because. Like I said, we, um, this was like a total multiplayer game, um, for my friends and I back in the day, so, um, I didn't, I'm sure I didn't unlock any of that, uh, any of that stuff back when, um, when the game originally came out. Not making the best choices here, but that's okay. Mm. So, uh, this game is available on a lot of different platforms, um, I'm, I know, like, the, the HD version is, um, kind of similar to the, um, the HD, the, uh, you know, Super Street Fighter 2 HD, um, that came out in, like, 2007-2008. Um, with, like, the redrawn sprites and everything. Um, it's kind of like that. It's, um, available on Xbox 360 and PS3. Um, I believe you can still get it on those services. Um, so it's got, like, HD versions of the sprites and stuff, uh, which look fine. Um, I'm still, I don't know, I'm, uh, I don't want to say a purist, but, um, I really just kind of prefer, um, you know, the original, the original sprites of, uh, these kinds of games, um, you know, I think, 
the stuff like Capcom and SNK were doing um, in this era with sprite work and stuff. They're just, they're so gorgeous and I just love those. So, um, the other kind of issue with the, um, with the HD version is um, that they, I believe they took out some of the, like, the win animations, um, the different you know, character animations, not a huge deal or anything, but um, also removed uh, that mode I was just playing, the, um, the item mode, I believe that's gone, and other than that I think it's pretty pretty much um, the same. Uh, I believe some of the some of the characters um, have been like rebalanced a bit. Um, yeah. Again, similar to what Capcom did with the uh, the Street Fighter um, HD uh, in that era. Um, just kind of tweaking and rebalancing those characters a bit. Um, in in this game, the way they're kind of balanced is via their um, like garbage attacks. So like when um, you know when I when I break a bunch of gems on my side and I send them over to um, the other side, it's you know it's that attack how um, how those gems are distributed, which is. Ready? different character by character, and uh, some characters have more of an advantage than others um, in this game. I actually don't know the um, the specifics there, I just kind of always played as the characters I liked, um, and Sakura is one of my favorite Street Fighter characters, so um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know on that end, but... Um, yeah, so that's a that's a that's a good version. Um, if you don't mind the, uh, or if you prefer the um, the updated sprites and all that, um, the game also I believe was released on Game Boy Advance and part of a PSP collection as well. Um, I am not familiar with those ports at all, so. I don't know if those are good or not, or what's what's new, what's different, um, any of that. Um, I would assume that they're uh, they're both pretty good. Um, I know, you know, a lot of what um, Capcom was doing on the on the PSP um, during its. Uh, Heyday was uh, was really excellent. The way they were bringing over a lot of their classic games and stuff. So um, I would imagine it's pretty good port um, along the lines of like the the Mega Man powered up games they did and like the Power Stone collection and the Street Fighter Alpha Three. And a lot of those were just awesome, awesome ports. Um, but yeah. I think it's part of like Capcom Puzzle Collection. Hey, it's Dan. <laughs> Try normal level. Okay, Dan. All right. So yeah, that's kind of a kind of an overview of Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo on the PS1. Um, pretty awesome game. It's a, I think it's a little bit pricey these days to get a PS1 copy, but, um, you know, I think it's a great addition to a collection if you, um, you know, if you still play PS1 games, uh, uh, local multiplayer, which, um, I think everyone should do. I think that's a good, I think that's a good life choice, but. Alright, well, I'm going to wrap up the video here, um. As always, uh, please subscribe um, to the Enos Lives YouTube channel. Um, that would be awesome. And uh, other than that, you can follow me on Twitter at Braun Dwarf, B R A W N D W A R F. So I uh, will catch you next time. Thanks a ton for tuning in. Goodbye.